Hey, how are you? Oh, indeed. Yeah, yeah I got your interesting request for sure. Um, yeah, I don't think this has ever been done or attempted in the history of civilization for sure. Yeah, hey, you're coming to me, you ain't going to an actual surgeon because they would laugh at you and have you committed for what you're asking me to do, but since I'm the shady surgeon, I'm going to give it a shot. First things first though, I want a payment and then we'll discuss how we're going to go about it and what kind of tools I'm going to use, all right? Okay, yeah, don't mind the mess back there, you know? Short notice and, and such. All right, so as for payment. Uh, excellent. Lock and chase for the Game Boy. Thank you, this is a great game, man. Love that game. Ah, yes, Final Fantasy twelve as well. Haven't beaten this one, and I lost my copy, so... Still got the save on the memory card, but thank you. Great, looks like a good copy, too. Very nice. Ah, yes, and the prize of the payment. Masters of the Universe, The Revenge of Skeletor. See, hear, and read. And it has the record, yes. Oh, these things are great. They help me get to sleep at night, these things, you know. What a character Skeletor is. So much better than He-Man and those other idiots. Yeah, the bad guys are always better, I feel, in uh, these cartoons, but... Thank you for that. What was that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's almost easy to just give me money than just to come across these items, right? But that's what I want, and you got it, so thank you. All right, so we're gonna discuss what is gonna be needed to be done today. So, you want an incision in the arm, a little high up, about here, right? And, yeah, give me it, yeah, this is where it gets weird. And you want me to insert this Game Boy battery pack into your arm. This will come out and you have another person you're gonna to go to to insert this into the side of your brain okay then so you think this is going to recharge you or whatever however you want it to happen i i don't know but like i said this has never been done so let's leave this here for now i'm willing to do it for you i don't know what you're up to i really don't but yeah i mean that's it's your th like you just like you said it's up to you what you want to do with Game Boy battery packs, you know, there's no liability for me here or anything. So anything goes wrong, it goes wrong. What can you do? Okay, well, I gotta tell you too, I don't have any anesthesia or anything, which I would have hoped you would have assumed, considering you're coming to me and this is in a freaking room. But let's see what we can do, shall we? I do have this. It's a pretty strong moonshine. If you pound most of this, I need a little bit of this though to dab up your arm and stuff, disinfectant and whatnot. Shit works great for it. But you can pound this, and uh, this will keep you woozy for probably 10 minutes. I probably don't need much more than that. There's less. Depends. I mean, I'm just going to shove that shit in there. I'm not. I'm not being precise or anything. I'm going to. Whoosh, whoosh, bloop, ding. Done. We're out, right? All right. Yeah, I mean, I got tools here. This corkscrew will dig in, maybe, you know, to, to really get, like, good holes in there. I don't really actually know what this is going to do. Um, this is the pick-out crud, this bottle opener. Um, this is to help me with the stitching. Got a knife here to cut. And this is what's going to be, is this okay with, uh, for stitches? You like this, huh? All right, cool. Got paper towels, got a, look at this, look at this scissor here, and this little pads, gauze pad sponge, I mean that's, dude, like, you're getting some stuff here, man, this is real, the real deal, alright, and I have my light boy here to assist me in seeing anything I'm having trouble seeing. 
All right. I'm going to want you to pound this now. Yeah, leave a little bit in there, though, because, like I said, I'm going to need something to uh, dab on that wound right there. Here you go. Just yeah, dig into that. Dig into that. You like that, right? It's good. Yeah, I mean, if you're ever in Tennessee, go to these moonshine places. It's, uh, what is it called? Okay, give me that back. Old Smoky Moonshine. Yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. They have a lot of flavors. All right, let me put that there for now. All right, let that kick in. Feeling it. Okay. Well, yeah, you're obliterated, it seems. Thankfully, you don't weigh too much, so, and you, you know, yeah, well, you don't drink too much either, so that's good. That you know, doesn't matter your weight if you got a tolerance for it, it's gonna take a ton, but thankfully you don't drink much and you don't seem to weigh much. So good, you will be nicely gorded, maybe for even longer. Okay. Alright, let's start off by just flop your arm there on that thing, that M2 thing. I need to get some of this shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, I'm just gonna dab this on your arm. That's done. Let's get the old knife. Seems clean. Some watermarks, but you know. Okay. Well, let me get in there on your. Don't feel that? Apparently not. You're giggling like a fool. It's hard to even think. You're right there. Those scalpels really are sharp, huh? Because this is tough. It's flappy now, but I'm going to have to really shove that in there. All right. Yeah. You mind if I snack on this? You can't have any of this. It's my snack. Oh, just keep laughing. You're not bleeding that bad. Yeah, these are good. put it in that uh, gaping hole. Alright. Back to business. It's good because it has a magnifying glass as well. shove it in there. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, you get Just use your other arm and like rip really pull it out. <clears throat> you know what? It's in a good amount. Alright, let me get the other hand and push it. There we go. Oh, God, I don't know what to do with the freaking wire. Yeah, you hold on to it because you said you got a person, so. Oh, 
God. That's wedging. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's shoving. I mean, it's making your arm bulge like crazy. It's gonna be hard for me to get these stitches in. You know, it's bigger than your arm, pretty much. Hey, yeah. You know, a piece of my uh, whatever this is, Nature Valley. It's fine. I showered this morning. There's no germs. I want to use this. I want to try to push it in a little further, all right? I know it's just going to hit the top, but. That's on. Who'd have thought corkscrews have versatile uses? Alright, it's in there pretty good. Now I'm going to use this. It's going to pinch. I'm going to use this to pinch on the skin, alright? Hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to pinch on the skin here to really tighten it. second one. All right, here we go. How much am I going to need here? Oh no. I dropped. Oh, okay. Dropped the gauze. Oh no. This should be enough. Scissors work wonders. Hmm. Just get in there with this string, kind of loop it around. Yeah, I know it doesn't make sense, but no, it does it ever. I just these aren't too straight or anything, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, what can you do, right? Loop it a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. All set on that. Hmm. Let me. Yeah. Exactly. Let me. Uh, Get a little more of this alcohol, rub over the top of that wound, you know, infections and such. No, I don't really drink this stuff anymore myself, so you're welcome to have the rest after I finish up. Alright. Rub that down nice and good. What can you do? Brick. All right. Let that dry for a second. Hmm? Oh, you want? Yeah, here you go. Knock yourself out, huh? Yeah, knock yourself out. Finish it off. Whew. Tough stuff here. I don't know what you're... What was that? Yeah, drunk still, are you? Where'd you, where, where'd you hear that? I know that person. I know that person. They're a pretty reputable source. Reputable source, sorry. They, this, you're not kidding with this. So this, this thing here with the battery pack sends out signals when you put that into your eye. It will stop aliens and UFOs from detecting where you are after you've already been abducted once. So they can't get you that second or third time. 
that's interesting, and I have a ton more respect for you now. If you didn't know, I have a group we're actually meeting soon. Yeah, we had a problem with our last one. There was a mole, all this stuff. But we have another one coming up soon. I'm going to want you to be there, and I want to see if this thing works. You all right with that? I'll take your giggling as a yes. Yes. All right, then. Well, let me get this on the wound. It seems dry enough. Oh, I could have just peeled it. Eh, yeah, might as well get use out of the scissors, right? It's not that big. Well, you know what, actually? It's two. I can stretch them out a little bit. I only got packing tape, so, you know. Let me start it right now, though. By... Oh, jeez. Good yeah, it's not the best, but you know. There you go. All right. Very good. Very good indeed. That's good to go. You're patched up. It's going to bleed a bit, but you know, no, no, I see there's blood all on the floor there, but whatever. I can clean that up. Or I'll just leave. <clears throat> but I'm going to need your email. Actually, you know what? No, that's stupid. I'm going to write this down for you yeah, after this. Is, yeah, absolutely. I want you to come to the address that I'm going to give you a week from today. Yeah gonna meet. It's gonna be hard to find, but you'll find it because we have a group here and we're on to something and you could be a key in this whole thing. Alright? Yeah. Yeah, thank you for that. You alright? You can giggle around a little bit. I just gotta screw around in here for a few minutes and then we gotta get the hell out of here because I think the owners are coming home to the house soon, so. Alright. No, right, yeah, you just sit there for a few minutes and uh, yeah, you probably should stop drinking that. Alrighty, well, of course, and like I said, interesting, the reasoning. I would have thought you were a loon until you told me that. Yes, alright, alright, sit tight there for a little bit.